What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Tip. And that's how I feel right now. So, so I seen that the boy, the rainbow face tat dude, uh, Takashi69. So he went to jail for a bunch of shit. And then uh, now he's telling on everybody. Yeah. Singing like a Boyd. Singing like Adele. He's singing like Ursher. And he's in trouble like R. Kelly. Yeah. So basically, uh, I've been saying this for a long time, man. A long time. And this is the thing. Like some real shit. Like Takashi is a, a square dude on some bullshit that jumped into this gang to get some street cred. Now he got some street cred because he's running around with these dumb moves doing all of this dirt. And then he gets busted. Now he's telling on everybody and it's like, what the fuck did you expect? For real? First off, he ain't about that life. He is not. I don't give a fuck. You took this dude with you to go and do some dirt. So he did the dirt with you. That doesn't mean that he's about that fucking life because he really ain't about that fucking life because a portion of being about that life is not snitching. Yeah. You can't be telling all motherfuckers, man. If you finna be up in there doing dirt, you just got to do the dirt and accept the shit that comes with it. Period. It's how it rolls. You can't just be all fair weather in this shit and one minute you just all, you need this gang gang. And then the next minute you're like, oh, I just did it. And I went, to, and I went with him and I shot this one guy and uh, we robbed some people. And, uh, what the fuck are you doing robbing people when you a rapper anyway? Like, you're a millionaire already. You're already stupid rich off of these fucking chicken shit, weak ass songs that you got. What the fuck do you need to be robbing people for anyway? For street cred. You need to rob people so you can get street cred so you can get these 13-year-olds to keep on buying your shit because they think that you're really with that shit. Now, they think that they can actually really be with that shit, too. Nah, man. That's not how this shit goes. That is not how this shit goes. All of these garbage-ass new rappers that's out here talking about they all with this shit like that, they ain't with that shit like that. Back in my time, back in my generation, I like... <laughs> I like when old people say that shit. Now nah, I'm sitting up here. I'm an old motherfucker. Now I'm saying that shit. Back when I was young, uh, yeah, there was a uh, there was a code. There was a code on the streets. You had to do things a certain kind of way. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Couldn't just be running around all willing and acting all crazy and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real though, man. It's a code to this shit, man. There's rules to this shit, man. Like Takashi sitting up here talking about, no, nah, I never listened to Tupac. So uh, it just wasn't that uh. He just wasn't even rad. Fuck him. I don't know who that guy is. I don't respect the OGs. And that's why the fuck you in jail right now, boy nuts. Getting ready to be somebody's brch. And that sucks. But hey, you know, you live and you learn. Or you or you don't. And I hope that anybody that's watching this shit, if you are a fan of Takashi 69 or any of the other rappers out that are like him. I would highly advise you, I implore you all to go and listen to some 90s rap music. Go and listen to some real shit so you can hear that real game, hear what real rap sounds like too. And then actually see real motherfuckers because all of the rappers back in the day was really doing that shit. The only one that actually really wasn't doing nothing back in the days was E-40. Truth be told, and E40 actually did a little shit too. So get real with it. Stop fucking with them weenies. And uh stop listening to bullshit music. And good luck, Takashi. I, I didn't mean that last part. Fuck him. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right now. <laughs>